All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, today I want to go over real quick Infusion 360. It's not really a tutorial. Um, I'm just going to let you guys follow along while I design my dashboard for my Toyota. Um, there's some things that people gloss over. There's always some things that people gloss over. I'm probably guilty of it myself. There's things that you take for granted when you do something all the time. I don't do Fusion 360 all the time. I've never used Fusion 360 in my professional life as an engineer. Um, so I'm learning and I'll probably screw up and stuff and uh, you guys can follow along and learn from me. But in order to make two dimensional parts, which is typically what we wanna do, um, you open it up, this is what you see you might have to log in or whatever. Fusion 360 is free to use, by the way. Um, what I usually do, I don't know why I don't see my grid right now, but I don't. I'm just going to proceed anyway. Uh, on this cube, I'm going to click top. So that I'm looking at it from the top down. I'm going to slide over here to the left. It, they'll tell you create a sketch and stuff like that, but they don't tell you where it's at. It's right here. Um this is where you make a drawing that kind of looks like a blueprint okay so when you click that bam your grid pops up usually mine's already up so i don't know what that was about if you double click left click double the space your tools will come up um if you click it, it's almost impossible to do this without a mouse by the way so get yourself a mouse uh click the center wheel and hold it and then you can drag the screen around like so. Um, I've already taken some decent rough measurements. So what we'll do is, <coughs> excuse me. What we'll do is we'll create a rectangle. Um, I'm gonna create it on the zero line. See the box up there? You can type your measurement, mine's 52 inches. Um, and then tab. And the other measurement is going to be not 70, 7.0. Uh, then we have a rectangle. It kind of looks like a dash, which is something to start with. Um, you can move these lines. You can click and drag, left click and drag them up and down and move the lines and the numbers wherever you want. Probably making you dizzy. Uh, let's proceed. So a perfect square isn't going to work or perfect rectangle isn't going to work for me um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and i'm going to make a line and i'm going to go over 23 inches oh yeah i can just type it if i can type i'm going to click ok now it's created a line this on my plasma will make a cut line and i don't want that so what I'm going to do is click it. There's other ways to do this too, but you can click it and hit X and it turns into a dashed line and now it's a construction line, which means that it's just there for reference and that's all I want it for. Uh, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to create another line. I'm going to go up here. The remainder of my dash is uh, only needs to be six inches high. If you run out of screen, you can click and drag like I just did there. Hit escape to exit the tool that you are in if you don't want to be in it anymore. So what I'm left with is this weird deal, right? My, my cutter would come in here and it would cut this and then it would cut this and it would be a uh, catastrophe. You go up to the scissors, hit trim. I don't want this line. I don't want this line. I actually don't need this one anymore, so I'm going to take that one out as well. And now I'm left with something a little better looking. Um, I can go up here to fill it, which means radius. I'm going to make this a half inch fillet. Fillet. Uh, radius. I'm going to make. I'm going to make it a radius. You guys can call it whatever you want. Everything else I'll probably do 250, I don't know, so it's kind of nice. You can take these right out too, if you don't care, and I don't care. So I'm gonna take that right out. So now I have a decent little sweeping curve there. Um, the corners are still hard, I don't like that. 
I'll come in here and change them all to two quarter inch radiuses. I will probably have to cut this dash more than once. Um, that's just kind of the name of the game, but that, and that's kind of what goes into like when people are like, "Would you make me?" and I say, "Okay, I don't want to in the first place," but then I'm like, "All right, you're gonna pay like seven hundred dollars," and then they're like. Well, I never hear from them again, but I'm sure they're on some corner of the internet talking about what an asshole I am. Um, well, you're nowhere around when I have to redraw and redraw and recut and refit. Um, I've done as good a job with cardboard and stuff like that as I can. And now this is where I'm at. So, um, I'm going to use another construction line here. And I'm going to make this, i check my notes. I believe it's 12 and a half inches. Twelve point five inches over. Um and I'm gonna click that and hit X and make it a construction line. So I'm gonna use an 85 millimeter speedometer which we can go up here and check 3.346 so I'll make it I'll go 100 thou over um, a little fat squirrel out there wow that was almost exact um, 3 point shit, what the shit did I say Three point three four six. So I want three point four four six. Um, here you don't have to do anything. It'll just you don't have to trim that out. If it were sticking part way off, you would have to trim it out. But for this, you do not. Um, I'm gonna cut this kind of short because it's kind of dragging on. You don't need to watch me stick every single hole in the dash. I think you kind of get it by now. Um, I do have a note here for I want my radio to be right at this curve um, so I'm going to put that again I don't know what a double din size is so I think they're seven by four so again um, you don't have to do anything here to trim this like I almost did for no reason I'm also not going to put any uh, fillets in here I'm just gonna let it count cut and then when I do my cam software I'll have it offset to the inside so it doesn't leave marks um, so see how these are overlapped though I'm gonna escape off that see how these numbers are overlapped and I, now I can't see so you can just drag them down wherever you need it to be um, one last thing I'm going to show you guys well two last things real quick I cannot cut this on my cutter my table's not wide enough I can't do 52 inches I could index cut it but I don't feel like it so what I'm going to do here is click this little house button and it's going to show me this cockeyed kitty wampus view and you're about to see why I put it on the zero line here um, in order to split it, you have to use a splitting tool and you have to have something to split against. So, first you have to extrude it though, which I skipped. So, you extrude it, I'm going to call it an eighth of an inch, even though it's not going to be an eighth of an inch, it'll probably be 16. All right, now I have a body here. Um, now I can construct an offset plane. And I want to click the one that will actually go across it, which is this one. And then I want to put it 26 inches. I think that having this other one open might be screwing with me. All right, offset plane, this one, 26 inches. 
bam. Now I can go up here to the modify and I can do a split body and the body to split is this one. Then the next, see how that turned blue? That means that's done. The next is the splitting tool, which is gonna be this plane. And see how it puts this little circle there? That's where it's going to split it. So when I click OK, see that cut? It just made it into a uh, in the two pieces. So now I can move this. Like so. Manipulate it however I want. Um, it's two pieces. Now, in order to get this out to a, a cutter, you have to go over here. It's kind of tricky. It took me a while to figure this out. So I have body. Oh, I have to. This is body one, apparently. And this is body two. See how they turn blue when I select them? We right click body one. Let's screw this all up. You right click on it and you create a sketch. So then you repeat that for the other half. Just right click on it, create, create a sketch, and they'll pop up over here. And the way, the trick to get them out is to right click where it's, you can go up here and save, and I'm gonna save this as, uh, I'm gonna save it as the Yoda Dash. Again, I'm just gonna save right over that. Um, then I'm gonna right click that, so right click, sketch one is going to be the whole thing. This is why I went through this whole deal. So click right click on sketch two, save as DXF, and that's going to be the Yoda dash left, which again I've already done, I'll just do it again. And then sketch three, save as DXF, Yoda dash right, save, yes. Um, now I have two pieces of dashboard that I can cut. So I'm going to go over to my CAD software, CAM software, sheet CAM. I'm going to import a drawing. It's going to be a DXF. Um, we're going to bring it in at one to one. It's probably not right. Import. It didn't scale right, which is sometimes a problem. There we go. So, I have my speedometer hole. I have my radius edges. Uh, I can see that this is 29 inches long. Actually, it's not because there's uh, my table on this one zero. But anyway, you, you can see that it's going to cut, I'll go ahead and uh, fake create an operation for you. Um, so these green lines show how it's going to cut. Um, that's how it would cut out. And that's what we would have. So I hope that helps. I hope you at least enjoyed or learned something from all this. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll try to help. As you can see, I'm no great expert, but familiarization with other CAD softwares makes it kind of easy to pick up. Same as tuning. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'm going to go cut this stuff. I'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.